Tell me what it is about. Why? I'm sure you'll figure it out pretty quick. It's a it's a king management game, or queen management game, or uh, evil demon satanic ruler management game. It's a it's a it's a fact. It's a it's sort of like, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> it's it's a text adventure sort of. Not really. It's it's war sim. Do you want to leave it up to fate, or will the world, or would you completely? Blah, 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 uh, leave it up to fate. How long will your game run for? Anything other than no time limit gives you a score when time runs out. Eh, let's go with 50 years. Short. Um, no music. Uh, well, I'm definitely a king. I, I, I don't speak for you guys, but I'm definitely a king. Um, <clears throat> the royal god king. Uh, you know, fuck it. We'll just go with king. Keep things simple. For encounters where you'd normally be referred to as Mr. Sir. Uh, make your own name. Let's make a name. All right, chat. <clears throat> I want to know... How do we do this? What's the last game you played? The name of the last game you played. And if it's this one, it doesn't count. We'll see you later, Authority. Cheers. You know what? That doesn't work. I was going to say, like, I could take, like, one word from each name of this, and it's like, nah, it's not working. Um, ooh, hack. Hack is good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Fuck. What's your favorite vegetable, chat? Your favorite vegetable. Let's try that. Carrot. <laughs> oh, no. Potato. Turnip the 67th broccoli. Carrot, carrot, potato, turnip, the 67th broccoli. Pineapple. That's not a vegetable, but okay. Um, shrimp also is not a vegetable, but I'll let it pass. Um, uh, sir, salad. And we could be the kingdom of greens. How's that? Um, make your kingdom name. The. Uh, the. The land of greens? The kingdom of greens. That I, that's not vegetables. That's a human creation. It's not a vegetable. Has vegetables as ingredients, but it I would consider that a baked good. Impale. Um, I think we'll just do normal again. You are the ruler of the Kingdom Greens, a once mighty empire, fighting against the powerful rebellion of the Federal Kinslayer. 
the hordes of bandits loyal to Fenor, the overlord of the bandit horde, as well as several minor bandit gangs. The world is vast and complex, and there is much to see, but little time to waste. From the fabled ancient lands to the blood-soaked arena, these lands call to be un united under the flag of the Kingdom of Greens. And then it generates the world. Enter 666 on Warsim's main menu for a secret. Huh. The world is full of mystery and wonder, and there are many peoples in the world. There are men, happy centaurs, skeletal elders, and nightfall implings, and aerial halflings, and resurrecting snotlings, goblins, and demons. No mushroom people? All right, chat. So last time, uh, my fa we, we did the, we inherited the throne by accident. What do you guys think we should do? What do you guys think? Father's previous ruler was assassinated. My father was the previous ruler and he died of old age. My father was the previous ruler and trained mad and was turned mad and was jailed. I won the throne in a bet with the previous ruler. I am a bandit warlord and took the throne with my bandit army. I stole the throne with demonic trickery to serve the overlord. I pulled the fabled sword out of the stone. My father's village inherited the throne by accident. My enslaved forces were able to overthrow the previous ruler. I won the throne in a tournament to find the new ruler by strength. And I led a slave revolt and overthrew the slavers who ruled. It's a long story. I think because we are the 67th broccoli, I think my previous the, the my father was the previous ruler and died of old age. I'm not doing number six. I'm just going to put that out there um, because I did that the very first time I played that and I really don't want to do that until like I kind of know what I'm doing because they throw a lot of shit at you and stuff falls apart real quick. Um, so unless I know what I'm doing, I'd really rather would not do number six. I kind of like number 11, but it's a long story would also be pretty good. Five sounds cool. <laughs> You're a bandit warlord. I'm feeling that one would also be kind of chaotic. Twelve fits. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning twelve. We're gonna do it. It's a long story. You grew up in a fam in a farmstead near a small town in the kingdom of Greens, raised by your mother. Life was simple but harsh. Your prized possession was a tome, read to you when you were young, the crown of Mai. The book was centered around an ancient law, claiming that there was an ancient mythical crown in the land lost far away in an eastern kingdom. They who found the crown would be declared ruler. Many searched for it, but none succeeded. Over time, tales fell into obscurity. As you grew up, you worked... I like how it's actually a long story. As you grew up, you worked in guilds and far on farms around the realm doing odd jobs and making a living, but you found yourself wanting more. Your dreams were of the mythical crown to the east. For a time, you tried to not think about it, but you could not. It consumed your thoughts and always it was always on your mind. One day, you sold all of your things and paid for a boat passage to sail across the eastern sea towards the foreign land. The journey took two months across the wide open sea until you arrived in a land mired by the human jungle and the tall mountains. You spent many weeks exploring the towns and cities and land, and you met many friends, namely an eastern warrior named Omer, who, sa who saved you many a time from seedy merchants and hostile foreign warriors. <clears throat> Fortune was not on your side. After weeks of exploration, you fell sick while in a small town at the foot of the Great Mountain. Here in your sickness... Yeah, in before, it's like straight up just like 200 pages long thing. Uh, here in your sickness, the dreams got stronger and the crown whispering to you. You sat sickly in a palm tree, near a palm tree, observing the great mountain thorn. A when a local, well-versed in your tongue, 
stopped to talk and said, and look of many a traveler who visits the mountain of Mai. You should not climb it. The mountain punishes those who try to pass. You could not believe it. The mountain of Mai, as the books had foretold. That night, you hatched a plan to traverse the mountain once the sickness wore off. And you were low on gold, and now only had the strength for enough for the horse or healer. You sat there staring at the mountain, and the night brought you. And, the horse, uh, and that night, you bought a horse and rode for Mai. The mountain was large and treacherous. You left your horse halfway and began to climb, your sickness driven by pure willpower. Climbing your sickness driven by pure willpower, rocks that came loose in your climb fell for minutes before reaching the bottom, and many a time you almost fell. As you neared the stop, as you neared the top, you lost your grip and fell from great height, landing in some tree branches and breaking them. Now bloodied and sick, you lay there awaiting death and cursing yourself for this ill-fated journey. When you spied a torch of flame illuminating the smallest cavern, hidden in a ravine you'd fallen into, you gathered your strength and curiously approached the cave to discover a crude rocky shrine. Resting atop was a crown, the ancient crown of Mai. It had and two skulls near it with jeweled eyes. You took the crown and the jeweled eyes with a newfound sense of life and vigor and you climbed crawled and slipped your way down the mountain finding your horse by pure luck and you rode back to the town and traded one of the four jeweled eyes for a small sum even the gold even enough gold to hire a ship back to the kingdom of greens you reached the, the one and once healed in good health and you marched to the throne room during the procession of court and proclaimed to all your finding of the ancient crown of Mai. The old royal god king and his council were in disbelief. But once they saw the crown, they knew the prophecy had been fulfilled and the royal god king surrendered his crown and abdicated. And that is how you became the royal god king of the kingdom of greens. Plus 10 public opinion due to your adventurous rise to the throne. Plus 1,500 gold coins from the three jeweled eyes. Plus Umar, the friend and first champion of the kingdom of greens. The crown of Mai can be viewed from the throne room. You hope it doesn't end? Yeah, well, I mean, it did now. So it wasn't that bad. You are invited to a royal crowning ceremony. You can learn of your... Okay, so chat... What kind of king are we going to be? Are we going to be lawful or like we get a bunch of slaves and build a big army and try and take over everybody? Like what kind of thing are we going to do? Are we going to go more for like, like I, basically I, what, what I want to know is what, what do you guys want me to do when we encounter things like slave traders? Like all slaves or free the slaves? Because I think free pe peasants probably work just about as hard as slaves. Am I right? <laughs> Uh, I have to ban somebody from my Discord server. Hold up. <laughs> Joins my Discord. Hey, please join my Discord. Uh, no. We don't spam your shit in my Discord. Thanks. Crusade with former slaves. I like that you use the chainsaw emote thing. Free the slaves. I'm kind of leaning anti-slavery too. So let's try, you know, honestly, we, we, we are a hardworking child from a, uh, a poor farming, farming town. We're probably going to try and be the utmost lawful good, right? Utmost lawful good, but, um, you know, if you put it in self-promote, totally would have left it. Totally would have left it, but otherwise you get banned. Uh, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's go, let's go to our ceremony. You enter what is now your throne room for the first time, and there are small crowds of people who are gathered to see the royal god king. As you take a moment to observe the room, the high general of the kingdom of greens approaches. Well met to you, my king. I shall now crown you by the right of the royal god king. In the kingdom of greens, 
You inherit the title after discovering the fabled crown of Mai. You are now the royal god king of the kingdom of greens, and I pray to your reign, your reign is long. General Gorhin Pikner. He's missing an eye. I am Gorhin Pikner, the general of the kingdom of greens. I advise you on matters of war, military, and I shall serve you loyally. Now you will no doubt wish to know the state of the realm. The kingdom of greens, five territorial holdings make us a threat to others. The the kingdom's personal army consists of 500 peasant workers, 200 soldiers, and five loyal knights to serve your cause. Good shit. That's military matters. As for the financial state of the realm, the kingdom has a total of 3,500 gold in its coffers, so times are hard. So times are hard. Also, 623 additional gold in the bank. Um... My royal king, now that you are crowned, you may speak to the old Kroll if you wish for any tutoring on matters of the realm. If you are unsure of what to do, I highly recommend it. Though, if you would like to discuss that later, you may do that too. Uh, you know what? Let's speak to the old Kroll because I want to see something. Uh, give me a simple version of the tutorial. Welcome, my king, for your good old tutoring. Now, firstly... I must ask you, do you prefer an explanation of things? I can give you the full explanation of every detail, a fair explanation with less relevant detail, or if you wish, I could give you a simple version a mere child can understand. Give me a simple version. Um, explore menu, do things, you win. Uh, top menu, show gold, show lands, let's, is help. Um, higher menu, uh, men fight, you win. Uh, move on to the next session. Uh, higher mercs, kill enemies, you win. Hire staff, staff work, you win. Make friends, make trade, you win. Make laws, imprison everyone, you win. Buy buildings, use them, you win. Hire steward, ignore throat room. <laughs> uh, get gold, buy gun, wait. Get Bet gold, your guy wins, you win. Store gold, savings grow, you win. Build buildings, visit them, you win. Read reports, understand more, you win. And uh, explore land, discover all, you win. Uh, end turn, invade enemy, you win. Uh, no, I'm good with the tutorial, thank you. Very well, my king. All right. <clears throat> Round two. This game's pretty good. Just, just, just my opinion. This, this game's all right. I, I can't remember who it was yesterday who said, no, you won't hate this game blind. You'll love this game. And I was like, yeah, probably. Yeah, they were right. <laughs> <sighs> How did the last run end? Um, we fell into debt after gambling our monies away and, uh, well... That we were booted off the throne, basically. We're, we were invaded from every angle by all of the bandits, and uh, no one knows if the king lived or died, but uh, we got booted out, unfortunately. Kingdom of Yesterday's Lunch has fallen. So uh, now we are the Kingdom of Greens. And we are the Holy God King. All right. Um... <sighs> Let's go to Kingdom Upgrades. And let's go to Income Buildings. Uh, and let's grab Tribute Collection Boxes. So villagers in other locations paying tribute, we get a 5% bonus. You know, let's grab the 10% bonus. Gambled till the very end, end. Oh yeah, no, totally. The gambling king did very well. So now, now we are a new king who uh, read a fairy tale and found the mystical crown and uh, climbed a mountain and fell down the mountain and uh, found the, the mystical crown and became the king. Um, so that's where we're at now. Um, don't know what we want to do first, but everybody really likes us. And we have quite a few men. Um, let's hire some units. Let's hire soldiers. 
Wait, what? Can I? Oh, it's 77 gold per. Okay. Wow, those are expensive shit. There we go. We got a few more men. Um, I think we should go explore the realm. Chat, where do you guys want to head? One, two, three, or four? Well, actually, you know, before I do that, never mind. Um, let's go to the throne room. Welcome to your throne room. You can deal with visitors from across your realm. As time goes on, you may find the number of visitors swelling to huge lines. As a ruler, you may choose to deal with every last visitor. But if the task becomes too monotonous, you should look into hiring a steward. And stewards will deal with any visitor unseen to you. Uh, just keep in mind, they may uh, just put them all in prison if you hire the wrong person. Weast. S not sweast? All right, so we got 21 people. Let's look at the crown of Mai. You approach to see the fable lost crown of Mai. As it, it looks just as it did when you discovered it in the cave all those years ago. Was it that long ago? Um, well, we're going to call a meeting of the council. You call a meeting of the council in the Kingdom of Greens and take your seat at the head of the table. Your head diplomat, Old Kroll, enters the room, waves before you, before taking a seat. Your high general, Peckner, t arrives and kneels to you before standing and taking a seat at the council table. This is the first meeting of your council. And hel has held, have held. Meetings are a tool for you to discuss various topics with your staff. There are five seats on the council. That will be occupied if you have the corresponding staff. If you wish to know more about the certain topic, and each ask each member multiple times. All stand, fold, all sit uh, after rising for the God King. That's basically where we're at now. Um, let's ask about uh, finances. Uh, four. I want more trade. The independent kingdoms would be a good source of trade. Open up trade with anyone, and you can. Uh, the more trade route, the better. Uh, even with small villagers or the wagon man. All right. Well, it seems to be kind of like the same bit of information. So, you know what? Let's just view the visitors, and then we'll go look at the other factions around and see who they like and dislike and trade with peoples. You are visited by a traveling bard. He asks to play a song for you on his elven lute. I am a novice. I shall play a song. I think we'll listen to a song. Ugh. It just keeps going. Um, how was that, chat? Was that great? Was that so great we give him money? Was that bad? And he should quit music forever? Was that acceptable? Or do we just remove him from the court? My early stream music was way better. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it was really good for the first half. I think it was acceptable for a beginner. Bard nods in gratitude, and we shall allow him to leave the court. <laughs> Send in the next visitor. You're visited by a crazy person who says, Rotting is a... The rotting is a curious animal. What do you think, chat? Remove him from the court? I'm kind of thinking that, too. Yeah, he is a crazy person, after all. I think we're just going to remove this guy from the court. Uh, he, the man looks terrified as he's being thrown out. Send in the next visitor. You are visited by a traveling bard who asks to show you the singing ways of the old orcish. I'm pretty good at this. I shall play you a little song. All right.
Well, grunters uh, never cease to amaze. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> <sighs> can I even do that? That was a great performance. That was terrible. I've never heard such an incredibly bad sound before. I don't think I can hire him. I can just give him a bonus. Uh, let him leave the court. Um, send in the next visitor. You're visited by a merchant who says that uh, one of his shop assistants is set to be executed in your prison, and he begs you free him and offers 100 gold to do so. Do we, the king, accept bribes? 100 gold's 100 gold, so... That's not hiring, though. But I, I don't know. Oh, I see. After the compliment? Yeah, fair. You show me broccoli, not gold. Yes, but did you bring the appropriate donation of spinach, my friend? Free money. Yeah. Uh, you take your bag of gold for 100 coins and order the prisoner to be set free with the immediate effect. Um... Rumors of your compassion spread. Plus one public opinion. Really? I thought that that would go down. Interesting. The man says, thank you so much, and leaves. You are visited by a mud-covered apprentice who is followed by three young men. Hello, my king. My boys are old enough to serve you now. It's good for... to. It's, it's a good sort working in the employ of the king. Less likely to have your wage go missing. More likely to have long-term work. You know, it is not, it is, I'm not smart man, but uh, I still got wits about me. And so how about this? Militia peasants cost you 24 per head, so my boys for 22, and uh, two gold below market price. What to say? You can't do less than one diamond. So the bot won't count it as an investment. Eh. Uh, that's way more expensive than market price. So uh, refuse the offer. Uh, you are visited by an armed man who says he's promised his dying father he will fight for you. All right, we'll allow him to a list. Uh, 15 more people in the line. You are visited by a townsman who comes in shouting, One of your soldiers wanted to fight me. I agreed, and we had a time and place set up, and the coward didn't show. I want you to pay me for him not showing up. N no, you got... Big fucking baby. Uh, you are visited by an old man who asks if you could spare a few coins in his, his as his family is starving. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Feed him dungeon gruel? Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna give him the money. Just yeah. see what happens. The old man shouts and lifts his arms up in the air and shouts, yeah, in a deep voice before charging out of your court celebrating. You're visited by a knight who claims he is passing through and wanted to greet and pay his respects to you. Ask him of his adventures. I was hunting a bounty for a while. Unfortunately, the wanted man got away. But I'll find him next time. We'll thank him. He thanks you and leaves. You are visited by a farmer who says a dispute needs to be settled. My neighbor's son climbed over my fence and punched my son in the face. I wanted to beat him. I wanted to beat him back. But his father is far stronger than I and encourages this behavior. There are, however, none stronger than you. So I come hoping that you will solve this matter. Your son is weak, just like you. I won't help, is probably what I would say. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> your son is weak, 
just like you. And I won't help. The pharmacist says thank you for your time before leaving. You are visited by a small goblin who says nothing but the words gold coin. What does this king feel of goblins, chat? Hey, Night Shift. What's up? What does this king think of gubbins? I mean, we kind of agreed early on that we weren't going to do uh, s slaving. Yes, they are green, just like broccoli of the Kingdom of Greens. So you know, I, I think we give him a, I think we, I think we give him a gold coin. Thank you very much, Squog, for 44 months. Scroggling, he says. Uh, you give the goblin a single gold coin. He jumps, cheers, shouting in his strange goblin accent, and then he turns to you and eats the gold coin and speaks with a clear, understandable accent and says, I would like to transcend the mindless realm of the goblin and join you. And he bows to you. We gain one goblin tri tribal and a follower and lose a gold coin. Worth it. Uh, send in the next visitor. You are visited by an old retired knight. My royal god king, I wished to better the realm of the kingdom of greens by questing for you. Okay, okay. Do that. Uh, next, uh, you are visited by a hedge knight. And he says, he has returned from his quest for you. He managed to kill a bandit warlord and brings you his head. I didn't realize I had that, but uh, accept him into your army as a knight. Sure. Yeah, let's 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 fight against slavery. Why not? And then you know, of course, in the future we'll do runs where we fight for slavery. You know, you gotta try, you gotta try everything, right? Um, <clears throat> you are visited by a happy centurion hunter from Mehor, who seeks refuge after being accused of murder. Did you do it? I annoyed someone powerful. There was never murder. What do you think, Chat? Mm -hmm. We're saying one plus one happy century and hunter. Uh, seven people left. You are visited by a traveling bard who asks to show you the singing ways of the old orcish. I am a decent musician and I shall play you a song. Nice little beat to that one. That was a great performance. The grunter nods. Let's request and play again. That was acceptable. Minus one. Let's uh, offer to hire him as a member of staff. His skill level is 60. Uh, it's at maximum. I can't up it anymore. I mean, I, I could crank up all of the background audio, but that would also make my alerts louder, which you trust me, you don't want. <laughs> so then I'd need to go turn down all my alerts, and I'm too lazy to do that. Oh, uh, nah. Um, we shall permit him to leave. Send in the next visitor. You're visited by an insane miner who claims one of your soldiers threw rocks at his children and called them little trolls. Uh, tell him to leave. And then he says, oh, really? And he leaves. Uh, you were visited by a farmer whose, dis whose dispute needs to be settled. A local boy has been causing trouble. I am an apple seller, but this boy grabs apples from the wild trees and sells them in a small stall. He's threatening my business. So this boy is an entrepreneur. That's not a crime. The farmer says, well, then I have nothing to say and opens up his mouth and burps. 
Uh, you are visited by an old hedge knight. My royal king, I wish to venture into the unknown, carrying the banner of the kingdom of greens. Allow him to quest. Uh, the knight doesn't, isn't seen or heard from again. Goodbye, knight. Um, the next one. Uh, you are visited by a fat farmer who says the throne room is, who enters the throne room flustered with the three boys to boot and says, these no good little bastards have been eating my food and wasting time on my farm for t far too long. They're old enough to fight. Now send them off to war. Turn them into men and take them from me. A gold coin ahead. I want them gone. Um. Seems like a good deal. <laughs> three soldiers for th three coins. That's a great deal. Uh, two people are waiting. You're visited by a famous knight who wishes to join, who wishes to quest out in the unknown for you. Sure, Mr. Famous Knight. Plus one questing knight. I shall head out immediately and find honor for the glory. Questing in your name. Carrot, carrot, potato, turnip, 67th, broccoli, pineapple, sir, salad. Why did I already forget that that's what we called ourselves? Uh, <laughs> you you uh, send in your last visitor. Um, you're visited by an educated guildsman who wants to join your army because he was told to do so in a dream. Allow him to join. All right. I need to, like, stop and think for a second. Reading out loud, like, this is kind of exhausting. <laughs> That's, like, the main downside I would say about this, is this is actually a lot of energy to do. Yeah. Boy. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good in that regard. I'm just tired. Uh, have a beer? I haven't had a beer since December 25th, actually. All right, what do I want to do? No, all I get is coffee these days. But we could do a round of beers if you want. Let's explore the realm. Let's explore west. Benland. Monfort Mine. Found a mining place. Find nothing. The Magic Theater. Is it always the same ones that you find? Uh, I mean, wine has more sugar than beer, so wine is actually real bad for me. Uh, let's check the mine fort mine. They have 350 men. Let's demand tribute from the mine. The master of the mine arrives to greet you, and here's your request. He agrees that from now on you shall receive tribute from the mine, as he does not want to cross the royal god king! But he doesn't seem happy about the request. Excellent. We are now receiving tribute from them. We should try and conquer them once we have enough money. Magic theater just costs me money, so we'll back up. Um, let's go to... Uh, change the laws of the land. Taxes and subsidies. Um... Let's do a, let's add banking tax. Everybody really likes us, so you know what? Why not just tax stuff while we can? Uh, so we're going to tax the tax taxes, and uh, we're going to um, do banking taxes. And uh, yeah, we're going to do all of that. We're going to tax everything. Uh, recruitment and training. 
Uh... Okay, that seems fine. Goblin policies. Begin goblin celebration. I guess that just makes the goblins like you. Social policies. You have no slaves for free. Alms for the poor, 500 gold per year. Uh, hire the, the love cult to increase public order. Hmm. Do you want to know what's bullshit? Lake Bear, that, that, that saying. <laughs> also, um, you know what causes alcoholism? One drink a night. That's enough for you to build up a dependency, believe it or not. Um, I mean, I, I love the, the beer and wine emotes, but personally, I don't really want to drink beer or wine. And don't drink anything these days because uh, the depressants hit me to a point where I'm suicidal the next day. So it's just not worth it. There's a banned slavery law. I mean, I'm not seeing it, so. Crime policies. Uh, close the prisons. Allow overzealous artists. Oh, uh, overzealous arrests. I read that wrong. Um... One of your clients do it? Sure, but a drink a night is enough to... It's fact. Uh, one drink a night is enough to build up an alcohol dependency. Um. Interesting. You can change your royal title. Bandit Scourge offer a five gold reward for bandits. Allow outlaws back into the society. Force everyone to wear hats. Weird. <laughs> um. Hmm. Also, for anybody who's missed it, tomorrow is the day that we are having Tarn Adams on the stream. So, interview with Tarn tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific. So stream might start a little late tomorrow because tomorrow's also news day. So uh, if I start the stream a little bit late, that's why. What are you asking for, Darren? Um, I, I mean, I do need to arrange diplomacy anyway, but we have to look at who the independent territories are. Your head diplomat is not good enough. Oh, hey, we're not at war with Crut. That's interesting. We are at war with the rebels though. They have 3,500 men, lots of gold. About the rebels. The rebellion is made up of nobles of the kingdom who reject the crown of Mai. Oh, interesting. As having any relevance over the realm. And call for the old ruler to be reinstated to power. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm not going to force everyone to wear hats. <laughs> Just straight up. Um... Interesting. The independent kingdoms. Mehnor, independent. The skeletal elders of the Sensitive. The nightfall implings of the tribal council. The astral tyrannus. And the resurrecting frost blood clan. King Kletor Coldtouch of Mehnor. 1800 units. Trade and diplomacy. Would you like a trade agreement? I'm just going to try and trade with everybody. Whoa, you receive a large chest of gold sent directly from clan, uh, King Cletor's Cold Touch's private coffers. Damn. Um, let's go to the Skeletal Elders. They're not super fond of, fond of us. Um, let's offer peace. Send a soldier. You send your emissary off first try. The Skeletal Eaters... So uh, selenate, anything could happen, but uh, the impact of your chances, uh, okay. Your emissary carries a request for peace and is met by the ruler of the skeletal eaters, Grand Vizara Nothwolf, the farmer who approaches you. Peace? What is peace? Give us one of your lands and we'll agree. Um, uh, you can't, uh, you know, I can't do that. 
Pieces are dejected and they hate us more. Okay. Uh, the Nightfall Implings. They kind of like us. High Chief Z Zrox, the Steel Captain. Nightfall Implings. Old Kroll tells you that the diplomatic action with the Nightfall Implings and the Tribal Camp Council is not possible because they, due to their unintelligent and savage nature. All right. Uh, let's talk with these people. The Aerial Halflings. Flying Halflings? Trade and diplomacy. Uh, let's offer them a trade agreement. We now trade. have a trade route with them. I think I'm going to try and ally with those first guys because they brought us all the money. The Resurrecting Frost Blood Clan. The Blood Chief Snoglack Leafburner. They've got lots of people. Uh, they don't seem very friendly. <laughs> all right. Well, Mennor, the Independent. Trade and diplomacy. Let's offer them an alliance. All right. We're now allied with Mehnor. Yeah, he, he indeed resigned willingly. So we shall crush those rebels. Um, let's look at the bandit groups. The black rebels we have a truce with. The lawless ones. Uh, let's let's view a report on the current bandit situation. There is an emergent bandit situation at the moment. Not enough time to be a major problem, but it could certainly grow to be one in time. Okay. Uh, let's check out the the lawless ones. View their stats. There isn't that many of them. Five hundred and twelve total. Four hundred and sixty-eight bandits. The undivided ones. I need to figure out who we're going to attack, so view their stats. Ooh. The undivided ones. We, we could attack them. The robbing pack. They're pretty weak. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll hit the undivided ones. Uh... All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what can? Hmm. I mean, like we have an arena, so yeah. Uh, let's bet on a fight. Win one and a half times your bet. All right. Um, who would you like to bet on? Lucius the Monst Lysius the Monster Slayer, or Pacifist Nightfall Armored Impling? This is a battle to the death. One, the monster slayer. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning with you. How much do we want to bet? Let's do um 1,000, because we're still learning this. You bet 1,000 gold. The gates on the inside slide open, and the fighters quickly dashes out towards one another, ready to spill blood. The crowd is ecstatic and cheers, and the roars around the crowd echo for miles around. We l lost our bet. Well. I'm gonna go with the Skeletal High Elder Champion. And uh, we're going to um, bet 500. Eh, another 1,000. Or, mm, probably a bad idea. Same thing states. Yay! We win a bunch of money. But we didn't win all the money back. That seems dangerous. Also, I totally lost money there. I think uh, rather than getting super banged up on uh, betting. I, I think we should uh, be careful. Go all or nothing? Nah. Let's end the current year. And we can, of course, attack the undivided ones. Let's, uh... The undivided ones are a group of cowards. It shall be my honor to see them put to death, my king. We shall invade them. Send, uh, send half of my troops, because they only have 96 people. 
General Gorhan Puckner. About time we invaded. It's the only way to truly eliminate a faction. We take their lands and leave them with nothing. Nice. Uh, we killed 48 of them and lost 5. You gain one land from the undivided ones. The undivided ones are now left... <clears throat> divided. Gorin Puckner, my king, rebels have launched an assault against us. Do you wish to watch the battle take place? Um, yes. Ooh. We lost uh, 132 soldiers, and uh, they lost 28. I mean, I still have plenty of soldiers left, and we have a bunch more money now. <clears throat> Although, I kind of view simple report from last year. I enlist 23 soldiers. Your knights train 25 peasants into soldiers, and we earned one old gold from interest. Uh, our treasury has increased by 6,682 gold, and your bank increased by one gold. The Kingdom of Greens... Uh, Invaded the lands of the undivided ones. Good stuff. The men are raided the lawless ones. I guess we'll probably raid the lawless ones next. Skulls for the skull god, I guess. Um, <clears throat> 49 years remaining. Well, I guess it's time to explore, shall we? Let's go to the south. You find a bloated satchel of 386 gold coins hidden under a pile of sticks. We found uh, Fort Kulak of bandits. We found a lava pit. The lava pit is believed to be the gateway to the world of demons. Worshipped by a few, the pit is feared by most. The lava burns all that it touches. Well, obviously, we're just going to leave. Um, another gift from the gods. Here's the thing, right? It... I wonder if we, like, eventually become a demon if we sacrifice enough peasants. <laughs> uh, let's go to the Fort Kulak. They have 500 bandits. Let's ask to speak to Gore the Bastard. You shout out, You wish to meet with Gore the Bastard! And they shout back, How about no? <clears throat> you do realize, by the time you type those in most of the time, Darren... It's too damn late. So unless I ask specifically for an option, I'm just going to fly through the menus because you're you're on like a at least a 30 seconds delay. So like a, like 30 seconds to a minute later, one pops up in my chat and I have no idea what you're talking about. Um If I recruit a bunch of troops, we could attack that bandit outpost. Although Probably smarter than that would be not to attack it. And instead, uh, let's go to kingdom upgrades. Productivity buildings. Sturdy, uh, okay. We can get a better hit. We can get a better harvest for 5,000. It feels like that, yeah. Achievement. Um,. Let's do dirt roads. 5% to all trade harvest tax income. But now I'm a little low on money. Yeah, the rebel the rebels are the one that we need to worry about, but they're way too strong for us right now. That's the problem. Uh, let's recruit some Units. Hire units. Let's hire some soldiers. A few more soldiers and peasants. They are five gold per head. Let's hire, hire 50. All right. So I've hired a bunch of peasants. Nice. <laughs> Just re Oops. Um... And there's nothing for people to raid. Well, I mean, I kind of did that, but. Uh, you go to your throne room and place 
and to take uh, and take your place on the throne in the kingdom of greens. You are told that there is a small line of ten people waiting there. You are visited by a knight who wishes to go to represent you on a quest. Good luck, bud. He's never seen or heard from again. Good, too bad. You are visited by a jester who says, Hello, king. I've come to read you a joke on behalf of the father, on my, of my father who's too sick to come. And he says that the royal god king should be made to laugh from time to time. Sure. I like watching witch trials. The ladies performing are always on fire. Like, literally on fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was an okay joke. Uh, you are visited by a farmer who says, My neighbor just got a bigger plot of land, and his house is bigger. His wife is more comely. His grass is greener. He is a show-off. Please grant me some of this land. Uh, get out of here, you insecure fool. Um, your guards bring a forward a man who is accused of murdering peasants ask him to explain himself the guards have got it in for me ask the guard for a statement well you can really say can you can anyone really say if he's guilty or not i mean hang them all like and, and let them be sorted out in the afterlife uh release him the man leaves later to discover the man was not guilty plus one public opinion you are visited by a stable hand who enters the throne room with seven boys following him. Hail and well met, he says. I bring you my sons, my liege, and my lineage is strong. We are the strongest of our village. I'll say you have my boys for your army. Only at 50 gold per head. What do you say? 350 fucking gold? Refuse the offer. Um, send in the next visitor. A sturdy man arrives in your court and invites you to play a flip a coin game and tells you it will cost you 10 coins per play. I think uh, I will say no thank you. The man bows and leaves. You are visited by an aerial halfling at arms and the aerial tyrants who seeks to fight for you because you seem interesting. Well, sure, we'll accept them. Plus one. Uh, you are visited by an old man who asks if you could spare a few coins. And he and his family had to resort to eating their family dog. Oh, I'll give you five coins. Word of your kindness spreads. Two people are left. You are visited by a talking frog who says he was cursed by a witch and needs an elixir to undo the spell to return him to his human body. All right, chat, this one's up to you. I am pleased to hear of your arrival, Authority Denial. Plus one green boy. One green boy. I kind of like the green boy. You currently have 31 gold coins. Yep. <laughs> You're right. Um, the talking frog hops away unhappily. You remain in your throne room. A lone wizarder, visitor waiting to see you. A shady man comes in and asks if I want to play a coin flip game, and I say no. And uh, I think it's time for the year to end. We could... Um, We could skirmish with the rebels. How did we lose so much money? I hired a fuckload of soldiers and built some buildings. So we didn't lose money, I spent it. Um, like I built, I've, I've, I've made dirt roads for people to increase the money I get from trade. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to attack the rebels. Yeah, let's attack the rebels. Skirmish a quick battle with the least chance of casualties. Actually, let's let's get some information. 
They have a fair bit of territory behind them. Nine lands that we need to capture before their capital. We have a decent chunk of they have a decent chunk of gold in their run, so uh, a raid is worth consideration. Let's just send in a skirmish. Um, let's send half of my troops. A skirmish can be a good way to thin the enemy's numbers ready for an invasion or a raid. Good plan. Your men arrive at the rebels' territory and prepare for battle. That will soon take place. You spot a rebel village, and the enemy surges, and the battle begins. Ugh. Skirmish was a failure, and your men were slain. Yeah, about that. Uh, word reaches you that Halfrey and the Stars, a local troublemaker, has formed a bandit gang within your lands. They are called the Frauden, and they will crush you. The bandit Horge pillaged 2,985 gold from you this year. Man, I should have fucking gone after uh, the bandits, you know? Like I said I was going to, and then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, screw you, chat. I'm just going to go after the bandits next time. Go Deal with small targets first. Uh, I'm glad I didn't send my whole army. Jesus. Um, Kingdom upgrades. Let's go to income buildings. Obviously can't afford anything. Uh, I think I'm going to go to here. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to go to manage staff, and I'm going to hire a steward. Three potential stewards. So these are people who will deal with people in the throne room for me. Gar Galok, the odd stream. Greetings. I have turned around... Failing kingdoms with my wise decisions. I used to be very poor, so I empathize with people. You'd be an act. You'd be an active fool not to hire me. I require two hundred sixteen gold per year. That's expensive. Holy shit! All right, so kind-hearted. Greetings. My name is Onus the Misty. I am unparalleled in my stewardship, and I actually like goblins. I promise to serve you well. Okay, so goblin friend. I think that's probably the one I want to go for with so far. Uh, and then Uthvorn the Cobalt. I don't think he's act I don't think he's a kobold. He's just a cobalt colored, I guess. Um, I am a good steward. It is in fact I am in I am in debt to the goblin race. You'd be act a fool not to hire me. I require payment of 144 gold per year. Uh, I think number two. What do you think, Chet? Blue evil? Blue is sus? I'm leaning to. We will hire him. All right. And then uh, let's go here. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's go explore the realm. Let's go to the southern lands. A lone warrior approaches you and bows and says, My king, I have wandered long in search of one to serve. I am Sir Troilg Sharpblade. Will you take me? Sure. You've got a good battle score. Uh, next. Uh... And next, the ancient southern ruins. You approach some old ancient southern ruins. There isn't much left of what once stood here. It looks like nothing you've ever seen. I kind of wish there was a little bit more to the ruins, but... No, I hate it. <clears throat> also, I, I don't think you were here for it, but uh, your dwarf died in long death. After a very long period of time, you died in a tantrum to Morden the Second, who then died shortly after due to a beating. But yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. It's 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 pretty good. That's why I'm doing a full day of it. Although I needed a, I need a chill day today anyway, because tomorrow is going to be a long day. Uh, tonight's going to be a long day too, because tonight I got a lot of editing to do tonight. But tomorrow is Tarn Adams' interview, so we get to interview Tarn, which will be fun. Ah. <sighs> Uh, let's recruit, hire units. All 
All right, that's about all we're going to do. Um, let's end the current year. Let's attack the robbing pack. And I need more information. They only have one territory left. If we have invade now, we'll crush them. Let's invade. Kind of wish I could send two-thirds of my troops. Send all the troops. Invading will bring us land and glory. The invasion was a success. You gained loot and glory. I gained one land. Victory! Congratulations, my royal god king. The robbing pack have been crushed. A small group of their imprisoned soldiers have pledged to join you. Plus 15 soldiers, plus one public opinion. General bandit level has dropped. Good stuff. Um, the bandit horde pillage. 4,233 gold from you this year. Holy fuck. The minor bandit groups pillage 97 gold from you this year. Your peasants crops fail and there is no income from harvest. But we still earned money, so that's good. The Green Kingdoms invaded the land of the robbing pack. Uh, okay. The Goblin Kingdoms of Krut and Eric break into an inter-tribe warfare. Ooh. The general bandit level has risen. Uh, Welgen... The Infuriated defeated Sir Budic, the Mask Hater, in the Little Arena. Mm. You headed to bed, Diamond? I don't know what that means. You, you, gotta, you, you gotta use words. I don't understand what clocks and a tiny little image that I have to squint to see means. Um, Alright, well, we have money, so I can recruit more soldiers. Um, But let's explore the realm. Let's uh let's go to the southern lands again. You spot a rotten head somehow encased inside a rock, but notice several other body-shaped rocks in the vicinity. Ugh. Old ruined demonic totem. And we find nothing else. You approach the ruins of an old demonic totem from long from times long past. It looks as though it was destroyed with some old lost magic. It has left it surrounding pat and the surrounding patch ruined for centuries. Weird. Uh I kinda just want to end the year. Uh we're gonna go for the undivided ones. I'm going to invade them and send all of the troops. An invasion is a wise tactic. We seem to have destroyed them, which is good. Kill those undivided ones. We get 15 peasants. We drop the bandit level and get plus one public opinion. My king, the dastardly rebels are attacking us. Do you wish to watch the battle take place? Yes. Uh, we lost 37 soldiers and one of our lands were captured. Ugh. We paid a lot of wages. We were robbed with one with 3,117 gold this year. Where the Fraudians set fire to one of our flags at various outposts, forts, and public opinion lowers. Win some battles, lose some battles. But we have even more money. Get Goblin Warriors green team. Here's the thing. I, I, I'd love to get Goblin Warriors, but there doesn't seem to be like... I, I mean, I guess, hold on. Let, let's go to di Diplomacy. Yeah, my, my head goblin group uh, diplomat is not good enough to speak to the goblin clans. Let's speak with the goblin kingdom of Karut. Diplomatic action with Karut is not possible. They are too savage. So, like, I, I kind of can't just get goblin dudes. Like, I, I'd, I'd like to, but I don't know how to do that. Also, check. Can we get a round of beers? Because I'm tired of staring at the same lines of text. How active are we doing? How's everybody feeling out there? How's how, how's how's stream going for you guys out there in the realms of chat room?
Fun game, you like it? Just gotta keep chat moving, that's all. Um, I don't think I can reason with the rebels. I mean, look at how much money I need to pay them to make them disband. <laughs> so. And I can't... I don't seem to be able to just, like, fight them. Um... Militia is less likely to expand. Let's do this. Old m Militia old weapon stash. Plus 10 battle score per unit. Which is pretty decent. Militia weapon stash. Plus 11 battle score per unit. Eh, I think we'll just do the one for right now. Uh, let's... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, that's what I want to do. Recruitment signs. One extra soldier recruited per land owned each year. That's not much, but hey, it's something. Welcome back, Basta. Um, let's go explore the realm. You know, I don't like this area. Let's go to the Northlands for a little bit. We discover nothing. We discovered a slaver's fort. We discovered the black market. So let's go to the black market. Visit slums. 1,583 black members of bandits are in the black market. You find a bustling market with all kinds of shady activities taking place. There are many strange wares and services being offered under the guard of a hardened groups of local bandits and thieves. I think we'll back out of that. Same with, and how about the slaver's fort? They have 1,700. Kind of would like to... Uh, fight the slavers. Let's uh, hire units. Hire soldiers from local guilds. Got 25 more soldiers. That's a lot of money. Hire tribal goblins from the local... I mean, yeah, we could, but they're not great. Um, you see, that's slaves. When we said that we weren't going to do slaves. So I, I don't know... I, I, I don't want to do that, because like we kind of agreed at the start that we were going to say no to slaves. So I'm not going to buy goblin slaves. One in 20 chance to recruit a knight each turn. Ugh. Let's do, let's do six. Small market favor. Make it 10% likely. Unit prices 10% more likely to drop each year. Can I afford any upgrades? Welcome to the chat room. Oh, boy. I've been welcomed to the chat room, chat. I feel welcome. Okay, so the undivided ones are destroyed. Let's attack the lawless ones. Get some information. They have two territories. Let's skirmish with them. And send half of my troops. Lawless one's loss is 18. Your loss is zero. Skirmish was excess. Your, man, your men bask in glory. You receive word that the Moonlight Elders mercenary group have turned to banditry and have taken up raiding. Interesting. You pay money. Uh, the bandit horde pillage money from me. The Moonlight Aiders mercenary group have become evil. 
the Kingdom of Greens skirmished with the Lawless Ones, and the total finance has increased. There we go. <laughs> All right, chat. Um, I'll be honest. Streaming this game is exhausting. <laughs> um, hmm. Chat, can, can we get a round of beers? Or can you guys just, just tell me if the chat's working? Because currently, I'm, I've am i been welcomed to the chat room a second time. So chat's, like, breaking for me. I want to know if you guys are saying anything. <laughs> just type in anything. Doesn't matter. All right. Um, I think I'm going to save the game. Green boys. Green boys. Txt is saved. Hmm. I think I'm gonna call the stream early today, chat, because I'm like exhausted. Um, it's been a long week. And tomorrow's going to be a rough day. Or not a rough day, but a long day for me, mentally. Um, and I have editing and stuff. Like, I have 140 questions to go through. And um, two videos to prep for editing tomorrow. Because tomorrow's DF News Day. And in the evening, or in the afternoon, we're having Tarn Adams on. So at this time tomorrow, Tarn Adams is going to be on the stream. So I think I'm going to call it now. Uh, this has been the... The Patreon game day. Um, so if you uh, w want to help and vote on a game that I play uh, next month, uh, there's a link to Patreon. This is going to be in the rotation for the rest of the month. We'll probably do at least one more full day of this at some point. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to host Jess, who is one of my teammates. She's currently playing Dyson Sphere program, and she's currently starting the actual Dyson Sphere itself, which is real cool looking. So go over to Jess's stream, tell her I said hi, give her a beer or five, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, uh, and uh, hopefully we see you all tomorrow for uh, an interview with Tarn. I think I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I'm weirdly tired. That That is exhausting to play. Um, you guys have a good night. Thank you much for watching. I'll see you on the flip side. The other one. Two. Blind. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the host, Blind. How was your stream? Welcome in, friends. How are you all doing today? I hope you had fun with Blind. Hey, Nello. You still look coming from Three Planet TV more. Oh my gosh, I'm here. Ah. Looks away for one second. Bastet. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs>